Hey folks, your OS reviews. So disposable one-time use power bank chargers seems to be getting a little bit more popular here in 2017. And today we're taking a look at another variant. This time it's produced by a startup company based in Shenzhen, China. You can see a bit more information by this business card that they have here. They sell these in a few different capacities and they are mostly 1000 milliamp hours. And again, it's a one-time use charger so it's going to be best for emergencies if you want to put one in your car as a backup device uh, maybe when the battery is completely dead and there's no other way to plug it into an external source and you can see that they sell it in two different variants one which uses a micro usb which is standard for android as well as windows phones and the other which is designed for iphones and it has that reversible lightning pin connector um, it's going to work with your iphone ipad and ipod touch devices they also come in a few different colors which we'll explore a little bit more in this video you can see it's uh, labeled by the sticker on the front of each package and they will be sold uh, in retail for you can pick up just one or in packs of uh, a few for slightly less you can find them on Amazon and also in the links down below um, they are fairly inexpensive it basically averages out to under six bucks per uh, one-time use packet which isn't that bad considering that it could really be life-saving uh, depending on of course the use and where you you place it if it's out of power uh, maybe you're in a storm or something and you really need to power up your phone to call someone this could be a nice idea to store one or two uh, in places which are critical. So let's take a closer look at the packaging next. We're just gonna, uh, let's take a look at this one. You can see that it's the same as the iPhone variant in terms of capacity and the same weight, 30 grams, and the same overall dimensions. The Tearing at the perforated mark on the top, we can see that indeed this one is a orange color and it's made out of this kind of polycarbonate plastic material, which is Definitely different from the other disposable chargers that we've seen in the past, which were made out of this biodegradable, um, eco-friendly material that's easy to kind of just uh, recycle. But this seems to be, it's definitely disposable, but it's more of um, a real plastic sheath. And there is a lanyard strap as well, so you could potentially even hook it up to a backpack or something for storage. And there's a little cap that protects the charging port. And we can see that there is a tab here which we have to tear out for you to start using it um, when you want to plug it into a phone or something. And on the back, there's some basic info about the capacity as well. It's actually surprisingly well made as far as the construction is concerned. It feels really solid. So it's a little bit of a shame that this is only a one-time use charger because the build here is actually quite nice. Plug is very simple. Just uh, simply pop it onto the end of your phone and the charging should begin, you can see here, automatically. It is a smart charger of sorts, so it's not going to overheat or overcharge the device, and once it reaches full capacity, it will shut off, and it remains pretty cool in terms of operation. Um, if you unplug it at any point, you know, before the battery runs out on the emergency charger, it still retains that juice, so you don't automatically lose it. You can plug it in again to continue the charging, so it's uh, kind of intelligent in that way as well, but again, there's no way to recharge up the battery on the inside. Opening up a iOS variant, we can see the exact same thing, no other instructions, and uh, basically the same dimensions again, and the same overall build, except we have a lightning connector, which is again designed for iOS devices like iPads and iPhones, as opposed to your Android devices. As far as charging rates and performance is concerned, these are fairly typical chargers. Um, I would estimate that the output is roughly 5 volt 1 amp for each, which means that it's gonna it will definitely add roughly you know, 30 to 40% of juice in around an hour and a half. And for your uh, Android device, again, if you have a larger phablet with a 3000 milliamp hour capacity, it's only going to reach roughly 30% but it's going to add that juice in roughly an hour uh, or so. So it's not Qualcomm Quick Charge enabled, but it does work, and again, it will be compatible with both tablets as well as phones. These aren't waterproof or element-proof, and they do stick out on the bottom of the phone when you're using it, so be a little bit more careful when you're handling it, but obviously you can still use your phone when it's being charged if you want to make a, a quick phone call or something like that. Um, just If you put it in your pocket or something, this you know, might be a little bit of a loose uh, you know, a connector and something you have to watch out for because it's not super securely fastened to the bottom of your so device. All in all, I would say that these are, again, a pretty decent option if you're looking to get a kit um, for backup purposes, maybe to give one for a kid or maybe for your parents, the elderly. And it comes in a, a huge array of different colors, as you can see. They're pretty low cost, especially if you get them in, in packs, and they can be found for as low as uh, $2 you know, per 
per, per device if you get them in packs. And the performance is also decent, even though it doesn't fully charge up your phone or device. And uh, again, the price point is fair. I would say it's competitive with other one-time use chargers that I've reviewed in the past. And the construction is a little bit better, although it's not as easy to biodegrade after you're done using it. So you can check out more details in our upcoming article, which will also try to kind of take one apart and examine the circuitry a little bit more. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been a closer look at yet another one-time use disposable battery charger for phones and tablets.